All right, folks. Oh, I'm very, very excited about my next guest, and my next guest was my niece. And I'm sure, ah, what do you mean by <laughs> was? Once you're a relative, always a relative. No, she played my niece. She's a fantastic actress. She's gone into production. She does directing. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's adorable. Put your hands together. Show some love for the beautiful Yvonne Okoro. You got it. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having Fun. me. My pleasure. So stick around. We're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, let's get busy. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Stay cognizant for a recrudescence of gratuitous conviviality and merriment. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It has. You've been on... You've been on the show once, long ago. That was a long time. I think twice. Oh, you've been you know, on the first time I was with um, the other Yvonne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, the second yeah, yeah. time was for Adam's Apple with Shirley. Yes, yes, so yes, this yes. This is like my third Yeah, time. twice. This is your third time. Yes. And you've moved on. I have. Yeah. <laughs> did you produce, uh, right? Direct, what did you do with uh, Ghana um, Must Go? Ghana Must Go, I, I just came up with a concept for the movie, and then I produced it as well. So I'm the producer and executive producer for Ghana Must Go. That was, that was one hilarious movie. It was, it was. <laughs> the weirdest thing is when I'm watching it, I'm like, <laughs> then I hear everybody laughing. Yeah. Thinking, is it that I don't have any sense of humor? Then I realize that because it's my work, yeah. I, like, I criticize it a lot. But mm. I love Are you hard on yourself? Very. Ha really? Too hard. Um, when, when I did contract as well, same thing. I'll just watch it like, yeah. and everybody's like, I love contract. Contract yeah. is like one of my favorite movies. Yeah. But then I watch it and I'm like, because I, I think I pick on every single thing. But, you know, the thing is, people love it. It's great. And because it's my work, I will always find something, you know, yeah. wrong with it. But it's... it's, it's but what, what, which of your works do you sit back and go, yeah, this is, this is mine? I mean, if it's one that I've produced, um, I think it's always the one that, I, that is there for the moment. Mm -hmm. When... I did contract, it was contract. Now that I've done Ghana Must Go, and then I sit in the cinemas and people are laughing, and I think, oh, Ghana Must Go must be one of my favorites <laughs> yeah. now. So right now, I think it's probably Ghana Must Go. I'm sure my yeah. next movie will probably be yeah. that one, because yeah. I always yeah. wanted to make it better. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ghana Must Go was amazing. So the third concept was, did you do the, you came up with a concept that somebody wrote the story? Or? Yes, Tunde Babalola wrote okay. the story. He's in Nigeria, so okay. he wrote the story. I was like, oh, I want it. Um, a movie that people can relate to, they mm. can laugh, they mm. can enjoy it. And, and then, but at the end, there's a didactic. You learn something. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's why I told There's some good history in there. Yes, you know. exactly. That I didn't even know of. I didn't even know anything about Ghana Must Go. I, he came really? up with the title. Okay. And then when I, I was reading the story, then I realized, oh, really, this happened? Mm. So mm. you realize mm. that when you're in school and then you're doing history, like, it's really, really boring. <laughs> so this is a way that people can laugh, mm -hmm, enjoy, but mm -hmm. then learn something. And learn something, yeah. you know, because yeah. they will go, ah, those who exactly. didn't know anything. A lot of people didn't know. Yeah. A lot of, oh, that's wow. why they call it Ghana Must Go. And I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> I'm educating you guys. Uh, so, yeah. And then the cast, you assembled quite a heavy, heavy duty cast. I, I, I did. Um, Kofia Jalolo was amazing. And they, I mean, there are times I thought, is he about to have a heart attack? Like, <laughs> 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 and then there's um, Inkem. Inkem is amazing yeah. as well. Yeah. Inkem yeah. was like, Yeah, he was spot on. Yes, man. exactly. And uh, Doris Sakate is amazing. So, yeah, and she then, shocked me though. Yes. I've never really, seen it. I've never uh, that imagined part, that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I never knew too she could, she could do that part, but she did it well. And um, Aiko Bona, Blossom Chuku, all these are like the, they say, they call them the new era, like Aiko Bona and Blossom. Mm. So these are new people. So I wanted to merge the old, old. should I say old era, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the new, you know, mm -hmm, era mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, let's talk awards. You know, we can do show business and awards. And I know, well, I know that uh, my great, uh, what is it? Ghana must go. Yes. You, you, you got a few nominations yes. and... We've got about 11 nominations, yeah. and then, but we, we, we won about four. That's, mm -hmm. I won Best Actress in mm -hmm. a Comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, Ghana Must Go, Go won Best um, Comedy, and then Kofia Jalil won Best Actor in a Comedy for Ghana Must Go, and then um, Doris Akite won Best Supporting Actress yeah. in a Comedy for Ghana Must Go. Ooh. So that, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was fantastic, fantastic. Thinking of sweeping anymore? God willing. I mean, God, 
Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give that religious answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. but you know, he said you should ask. Yeah. All you have to do is ask. Mm. God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on next? Do you have anything in the no, pipeline? No, um, right now, I... I'm tired. No, You're nothing. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> nothing because um, Ghana Must Go is still showing in Nigeria. How is it doing there? What it's doing ask? very, very well. It's wow. been a month now. It's still showing. Is it showing for a month? Yes, it's, it's still showing. It's doing. Hey, you're, you're, you're raking in the, the douche. <laughs> <laughs> People will not start checking my bank account. No, no, no. It's okay. Call her, man. It's yeah, okay. The cash is coming. <laughs> I know. You showing that for a month? Yeah, That's it's been showing it. for, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it, it goes, you know. Longer. Longer. But yeah, um, so right now, I think it's just, I don't want to do anything. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a little exhausted. Mm. Um, but, but you're I, sweet though. I've seen, I've read about you doing projects. Yes. More whole projects? Yes, things? yes, yes. Um, I did this, I have this charity thing that I do every, like annually. And I choose anything I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to we put in a box where okay maybe I just do cancer I do something mm -hmm. I wanted to do like if I wake up today and I say oh uh, you know my attention needs to be drawn to a particular project or a particular disease or something that is you know um, I need to sensitize people about then I can do it so I was told about the people in Wungu they do have boreholes mm. but then it's the proximity is what mm. where, where the problem is mm. um, so they have to walk like for a bit, about six kilometers or so, to get balls, so to get water, potable water. And imagine if you are going to school and yeah. you, it's not, you know, it's not close to you. So I said, okay, why don't I just um, make a borehole? Not myself, of course, but then <laughs> um, fund it, fund and then it, yeah. people, the kids, the women, it, it, it's closer to them. They can they can get easy access to potable water. So that's why I did that. Yeah. Show some love, man. That was. A <laughs> People approach you with projects? Uh, yes, I've had really? people come to me um, that now they want to build hospitals. I'm like, oh, slow down. <laughs> slow down now. And, um, yeah, to donate. But it's, I think it's really what touches me. I mm. mean, some people have come to me, but maybe I'll just be like, okay. But then if you, it's the way you talk to me mm. and how you present it. And mm. then if it touches me and I think, you know what, I think I want to do this. So. Wow. Put your hands together, man, for that. Now... So I, I know you're very, very much, uh, 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 you're, you're very attached to your charities and you're, 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 you're working with communities like you've mm -hmm. just been saying. Um, are you, is that a break from your film acting and other stuff or they're all still together? Are you still? I think maybe if we're honest with each other, we're all, they're all still together because it's like my part. Um, I say it's like my way of paying tights. Mm, okay, and okay. Um, it's also a way of, for people to know that. Because you always get people saying that you actresses or actors, what do you do? You don't help the community. And then so before that, I used to keep it under wraps. Like if I help somebody, mm, it would just be mm, between me and the person and my mm, family. It, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be known. I didn't want to show it. And then people come to me and you don't do anything. We see you in, sh you know, expensive shoes, expensive <laughs> bags. Well, I mean, where's the money? You're just spending money. So I'm like, okay. So now I have to show it. Yeah. And then when you show it to, uh, did you have to show it? <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I'm not with you people, you yeah, know, you, you can't. So um, it's together. You want to show it for people yeah. to know what you're doing. Yeah. And um, you also want to show it so that it can touch somebody. Because I, I had, um, when I did the kids one at um, Jolu Special School, mm -hmm. when I built the mm -hmm. playground, um, somebody reached out to me and she said that because of what you did, I went to a village and also donated, mm, you know, this and mm, that and that. Mm, so mm. for me, that was like, oh, that's great. At mm -hmm. least that means that even though there's recognition attached to it, yeah. um, pe people also using that or um, they look at you and then they also you know, emulate you. Yes. Yeah. Mm, mm. Wow, fantastic. Let's talk about the showbiz. There was a rumor in the showbiz circles that uh, either you are married or engaged to some Nigerian billionaire or millionaire <gasps> or some... Rumors. Is, is, was it a rumor? <laughs> you, know, my, you know, the honest truth... Did you hear it? Oh, I heard it. I, I mean, I was living in it. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. literally, like everybody yeah. was just calling me. Um, the truth is, I don't like to discuss my personal life because... Mm. Um, they tend, you know, the media, they tend to like twist it a little bit. Yeah. And then on top of it all, now people will pay. I, 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 I want, if it's talent you're looking at, look at my talent. 
that's what I, I want that separation I don't mm. want okay let's talk about her love life that's all that matters mm. and then not even her talent her talent takes a back seat and I don't want that so I've always tried to keep you know whoever I date or whatever it is you know in the um, back seat in the back seat I did hear that is it true hmm well what if it's true Hey. What if? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I don't kiss and tell, so I don't know. Is it true? I don't know. I, I, have, yeah. I don't know. I yeah, know. and if it's true, Maybe. so what? I mean, I know. I'll date a Nigerian millionaire. Of course. Female. Female. <laughs> 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 you know, he's like, you have to touch the female you know. just to clarify. Female, I mean. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I would date a, a male too, definitely. <laughs> yes, so... um. Yeah, mm. possibly, maybe, maybe not. Well, how do you deal with that? I mean, hey, I mean, you, you, you are, you are, you're a celebrity, and it goes with the turf, I guess, yeah. you know, and you happen to be like a very uh, attractive one, and, and so I can, I can see how <laughs> you attract all of that too. How do you deal with it? Have you just decided it's an occupational hazard? I'm going to... Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm like this, like, if it comes out, I, I, you know what, I think every year they hook me up with somebody. Mm. Every year I get somebody that I'm dating, that I have, may not have even met, <laughs> or that I know, but he hasn't even approached me yet. So I get that every year. So I'm, I'm used to it. Like, this mm. year I said, oh, oh, so this is the one you're hooking me up with this year. Okay, that's great. <laughs> and um, so that, that, that's, I, sometimes you want to come out and, uh, and say, you know what, this is not true. Mm -hmm. But then there are times too you think, what's the point? Because there's nothing that I'll say that you believe. Yeah. You would believe whatever you choose to yeah. believe. Yeah. So I just leave it, okay? Let it just, you know, fade mm -hmm. out. After a while, mm -hmm. they'll talk about something else. And then, and and then, then we on move on, yes. Yeah. Mm. Which has been your most exciting project you have done, film-wise? Um, I really liked Rebecca. I d Rebecca. I, yes, Rebecca. Yes, I, 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 I was going to ask you about that. Yes, I, I, I liked Rebecca. It was very tedious. And um, you, you know Shelley's fantastic at what yeah. she does. There were just two of you in that movie. It was just two of us. Yeah. And I've done a movie that is just two cast as well. But this was so tedious. Like we were in the middle of nowhere. And no reception. You know how when your phone is off and you think about all the, the, the WhatsApp messages you're getting. And, you know, you're just... <laughs> How long, yeah. how long were you on the It was picture? like, um, like two weeks. But the thing is, we start at 6 a.m. And then we finish the following morning at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Yes. So this is us. Literally, there are times that I was like, <sighs> then there'll be like action. I'm like, man, where, where are we? Where are we? Okay. <laughs> and then, literally, so I forgot my lines. And most of the time, I'll forget my lines. Then they'll have, they call it idiot cards. They have it there. And I'll be like, uh, okay. So, <laughs> you know what they say. And then I just don't know what to do. Then I'll look again. And then Shelly will be like, Yvonne! I'm like, I'm so tired, you know? So it was, it was very, very tired. It's then, amazing, yeah. you know? And then you see the final product. And, and then it's like, like well, Shelly's a good editor too. So yeah. she's like, well, I'll work my magic. But then you know what you were doing. Half of the time, you were fast asleep. So, wow. So yeah, I, I really loved Rebecca. Wow, wow. How, how much do you charge if somebody was going <laughs> to? What's your what's drink? Because I know. You don't come easy. I just want the public to get a sense of <laughs> How much do you charge? Yeah, I do mm. pro bono. No, you don't. Well, um, it depends. You know, it depends yeah. on the script. Mm. It depends on the person approaching. You know, there are some, some people that you know that the movie will go far. You know they will put in a good yeah. work. So you kind of, you tend to be less, you, you know. Yeah. Yes. So. But which ones would you charge you? You you when well, you know the movie's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you, so from maybe here you, you won't charge too much, and then yeah. here is like, so it makes up, it balances. Yeah. So, yeah, but my charge it will depend. Bring me a script and let's talk about it. I don't mm. know. Give us a range. Oh, no, I won't. You won't give a range? I won't. <laughs> 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 no, next, I don't want anybody following me. I'm sorry, I won't. <laughs> no, no. But, 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 it, but it's true, though, that, I, well, the, the, this you, you young breed of, you know, mm -hmm. stars mm -hmm. now, you know. I hear you're, you're making pretty, pretty very good money. I mean, it's, it's, or? You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, 
if you don't have kids, I guess maybe you say it's okay. Mm. But if you have kids, kids. I, I'm not sure. But even if you don't have kids, I don't think I don't mm. think we're paid what we really yeah. deserve. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're we we're not. Um, mm. We don't get royalties. So yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. it's always been part of the African mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. um, so what happens is. I don't think it's that much. I think you probably get money from endorsements. You know, mm -hmm. that's where you make your money from. Yeah. So yeah. most of the times, a lot of people may tend to do it for free, mm. in the hopes that you know they'll get a good company yeah. that would you know come yeah. to them. So it, it. But I think the musicians make more money because mm. if you look at it, they if they're performing every single week, like in Nigeria, you have them performing yeah. literally every single day. Yeah. And just imagine, even if it's every single week and they're charging about twenty thousand dollars or something every single week. That's like, that's, that's, yeah. that's way better than yeah. ours. So <laughs> ours comes like, you know, and it's really now in Ghana because the movie industry is a little, I say stagnant, like mm. it's not moving. Mm. A lot of movies that are coming out are, are being um, produced by the actors themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, yeah. it's not, it's just a few um, production houses that are producing. So you you won't make any money from from, mm -hmm. you know, from that. Yeah. Your best bet is probably to go to Nigeria yeah. and Nigeria to be as saturated. So. That's yeah. what the problem is. You don't have a problem. You, Amen. You, <laughs> <laughs> Amen. you know, the first time I saw you in a movie, yeah. uh, the very first, the first movie I saw was, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Mm. That was the first time I, I even heard your name. Really? Um, I'm like, who is she? Wow. It was done by, um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There were like five, three, five girls, three girls. Is it, is it four can play? Or is it four play? No, four play. Know. Four play. Is it four play? Four play. Because yeah. I knew we were four girls in four yeah. play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Four play. Four play. That was you know. by Salam. Salam. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm like, wow. You know, yeah. I hadn't, and your your acting was so superb. Oh, thank you. You thank know, you I'm like, much. wow. Thank you. But you, do you work in Nigeria? Where are you based? I, I I do work in in Nigeria, but not often. I mm. I'm, I know the thing is, everybody thinks uh, to be more fit. Well, not everybody. The, truth is maybe to be more famous you tend to do a whole lot of movies mm. so obviously that means more money in your pockets etc and you're recognized but for me it hasn't been so because of the fact that I haven't relied on that you know principle because of the fact that I'm always in school for some weird reason so I can never seem to dedicate like my mm. whole time into mm. acting mm. so it's always it, there's always like that conflict with my studies and mm. then movies so i don't what are you studying now uh, i always say i don't want to talk about it but then my mom was like why don't you want to talk about it well <laughs> i'm in um i went to law school so i'm in my second year in law school You're just kidding. i didn't know that yeah oh wow so I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to see if i can i can you know, get some money from that. <laughs> Always got to have a plan B. That's what yeah. my mom says. And what, what aspect of law do you want to major in? Um, any aspect that gives money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> any aspect that makes money. And then, but I really, when I was, when I, when I entered, it wasn't that, I think it's because when you grow up, they always tell you, oh, this one there, or Pekasa, they just saw your lawyer, that type of thing. So, we, so mine was, I like arguing. My mm -hmm. dad loves arguing. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, what for purpose to now? Lawyer and it's So it was, it was, that's how I grew up. Mm -hmm. Then, so I'm like, oh, you, what do you want to be? I want to be a lawyer. So I can, it's kind of been implanted in my I head. I see, I see. But when I went to school, then I didn't like it. Like my first day was like, I was so bored. I'm like, this is not me. Like, why am I here? But then I'm like, hey, we did me jaya, me kufia. I will have serious problems with my yeah, parents. Like, because yeah, yeah. my dad, when I was going, my dad was like, ah, Chiniki, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, he wants a lawyer in the family. So finally, but then after a while, my, 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 the proprietor, um, doctor, um, also, I forgot his name. My gosh, you kill me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Ansa Sari. Ansa Sari. Oh my gosh. He, he called me. He said, listen, it, I know that with your brand and the fact that you're in school, you, you know, because every time I answer a question, everybody's looking at me. Okay. Just, you're just dear, you know? So it's like, it was so, diff you? Yeah, yeah. So it's so difficult for me. And that I, I realized that the lecturers tend to call me a lot. Mm. And then mm. I had no idea what they were saying. They'd be like, so Yvonne, you're on TV, eh? Hey? <laughs> What's the answer? And I'd be like, oh my God, my heart to be beating. Then everybody would be like, mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> then I'll be like, oh, madam, please, me, I just came. I really don't know. Like, then she's like, you don't know? Like, because you always have to read. Then, but then they, she, it, it put me in that situation that I always have to read. Because mm -hmm, I didn't, mm -hmm, for me, mm -hmm, I, I'd mm -hmm. stopped school for a while. So, I mean, mm -hmm, after my mm -hmm. first degree, so I didn't think, you know. So he, he called me, he said, don't stop. This is what he said to me. Because my, 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 the people in my school, or my class, used to call me Lady Gaga. Myself and Zanel. Because we're in the same class. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, you know, they like to dress up and look whatever. And he says to me, he says, never stop being Yvonne Okoro, even mm. when you're here. Mm. If you want to dress up, dress up and look good. Because that's your brand. That's what it's selling you. This is your second. So just try and merge the two together. If you want to do makeup and look beautiful, do makeup and look beautiful. Don't listen to anybody. In the end, is the end that justifies the means. And that was, for me, I was like, wow. I'm sold. Wow. So, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. That's great. Well, we're total catching up with you, you know, seeing what you're up to. And it's good to know. I didn't know. I'm now learning that yeah. you're in law school now. And it's fantastic. fantastic. Now, people will be checking my results. <laughs> 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 so, so um, who are your parents? I don't know. How do you answer that? <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Okoro. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, yes. Mrs. You even had the Mrs. Edna Mills Okoro and then, uh, you know, Nigerian, Nigerians entitled Chief, Chief Francis okay. Obuefi Okereke Okoro. Okay. That's my dad. Okay. And uh, is he in Ghana or is he Yeah, they, they, he's been in Ghana for like forever. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, they, wow. they, he has mm. businesses here, so he's mm. in Ghana. And siblings? I talked to your younger brother some time ago. Yes, he was, um, yes. Yeah. Uh, Raymond. Raymond, yeah. We're, we're 10. We're 10, okay. Yeah, my dad was busy. Was busy. Too busy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're 10. And um, um, yeah, we, we're, we're a lot. <laughs> and I think, I think we see, I, we, we're, we're a very dysfunctional family. Mm. But it's, we just, it's fantastic. Because when you hear us argue, you think, what is happening? Are they fighting? But then it's the fact that I see my older brothers and they're succeeding and they're doing well. Mm. And we're just three girls and seven boys. Mm. And there's no way you want to be at last. Mm. They like to bully. <laughs> so you always have to have a voice. Always. And now when they talk, eh hey, mama smoke call law school. Kasa, hey, you to say your own. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm, I'm just in my first year. Like, I don't know anything. Like, take yeah, your time. Yeah. Then like, oh, then you don't know anything. Eh hey, this one. So that's how they are. So it's like, you always have to be on top of your game. Wow. So, so it's a very competitive family. Very, very. Mm, yeah. Mm. yeah. Show some love, man. <laughs> it was great hanging out with you. And, uh, you. you know, keep doing what you're doing. And, um, uh, Next time I'll play your, I was your uncle? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll what? play your dad. My dad? Yeah. Really? Mm. What do you want mm. me to play? Hmm, my sugar daddy. Oh. Hey, I'm going. Watch out, coming soon. Salam coming will do soon. that. Yes, <laughs> coming soon. My sugar daddy and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much thank for hanging. So much. All right. Thank you. And uh, you. Show some love. You want to call y'all? Stick around. Stay tuned. Your swagalicious sugar daddy will be right back.